Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is my Dwarf Fortress video tutorial part 30. Um, today is going to be all about machinery. Um, machinery is yeah, important in late game of Dwarf Fortress if you really want to do some interesting stuff. Uh, most of it is used to uh, pump water around. Actually, that's like the only real use of machinery you can do. Um, uh, first of all, I want to start off uh, easily, um, in which case you can do it too, and you can build a pump, a screw pump. Uh, a screw pump is the mainstay of all the machinery, every, every <laughs> machinery uses it. Uses it is the only thing that uh, can actually do something with power generated by machinery, and it pumps water from one place to another. Uh, here I've built a pump already, this uh, is a screw pump. Um, I'm going to activate it in a moment, but first I'm going to show you what it's going to do. Um, so here I have a two-tile pump. Um, this pump, when I built it, I uh, made it so it pumps from the east. Uh, that means it pumps from the east to the west side of it. Um, and to be exactly, it doesn't pump. It pumps from the tile over here to the east of the pump. But not exactly over here, it pumps from the tile, tile down here. So when there's water over here in this tile, the pump will take it and uh, pump it through to the other side, exactly left of the pump. Uh, because I, I built it this way to the west. And here normally it should drop down and go all the way over here. Um, you can build one like this uh, pretty easily. Press B, then capital M and an S for screw pump and here you can select where it's pumping from check that, that's very important then using UMKH you can select where it's pumping from well, this one is pumping from the east, so I'll build a, a replica well, build it over here for uh, to make it easy uh, first thing you need is a block um, yeah also, when doing this, um, when taking care, it what matters the material matters what you're pumping. Uh, if you're pumping water, it doesn't matter what you're choosing at all. If you're pumping magma, you need something magma-proof like iron, for example. Well, this one's going to pump water, so I'm going to make it from uh, uh, chalk block. Uh, then it needs a enormous corkscrew. Uh, these are trap weapons normally. Uh, using trap weapons, but you can all use. Also, they are also using screw pumps. Uh, and again, uh, when you're pumping water, it doesn't matter. When you're pumping magma, you want something magma proof. This is pumping water, so I'm taking a, a willow cork screw. Then a pipe section, uh, which is a piece of furniture made at uh, the carpenter or the, the, the metalsmith. And uh, same as before, with the water and the magma and I'm going for a high wood pipe section. That's all that the screw pump actually needs. Uh, then it'll need architecture to build. Uh, so one dwarf needs to have architecture uh, enabled. And they'll slowly build it. And when it's done it will be just look like this. Be just, uh, about the same. Pump from down here and dump it to the left of it. I don't want to build this one so I'm going to remove it. Uh, once you build it, you can actually uh, make your dwarf's pump instead of uh, uh, yeah, powering it by machinery and stuff like that. Uh, if you don't want it to mess around with, with, with machinery and the hard stuff, just build one pump, uh, press Q and then enter on it, and the dwarfs will come and use more manpower or dwarf power even to pump. Uh, also, take care of um, where the water is going. As you can see here already, there's a little bit of flood out of the, the channel valve I've made for it. Uh, because yeah, it drops the water above the water. Uh, it drops it right on this tile, and it's supposed to drop down, but there's water already here. So the water can move around and to the left and right freely, and so there's a little flood around the pump. And this is very important since pumps can pump very, very fast. And they can flood your world. Which is what happened if you showed, uh, watch one of my earlier videos. This brownish area 
was all flooded. As you can see here is muddy grass over here. And here is normal grass. Uh, this was all recently flooded because I left a pump on that was powered by machinery. It couldn't, I couldn't turn it off. It killed my frame rate. Took hours to get it back to back off. And um, yeah, there's a lot of muddy grass over here, which not a really real problem, but it might kill your frame rate if there's a lot of water moving. Um, well. Now that's done, you know how to build a pump and how to make a, a dwarf pump uh, pump it. Oh yeah, uh, a dwarf needs the, the pump uh, whatever pump operator skill. That's its preferences at the bottom, pump operating. Oh yeah, this is Hector Lamand pumping for you, for me. Um, let's see. Now, you could uh, have all your pumps be manned by dwarves, but you could also... Um, yeah, have them powered by something else, like a water wheel, uh, shown over here. This is a water wheel, which goes through the water and generates power by rotating. And the other option is windmills, which are open here, over here. And these go down in the ground and power something else. Um, although windmills don't deliver much power, windmills deliver like 40 power a piece, and. Uh, water wheels deliver like 100 power a piece um, and yeah um, also windmills are easier to build also the windmills can deliver even less uh, power like 20 or none at all uh, so water wheels is what you want mostly um, let's, uh, let's show this section how to build this uh, first, how to build all the options. This is between the machinery menu B and then capital M. Here are all, all the options. Um, if you want to build a water wheel, which most of you will want to do, uh, you need to start with a girl, like a gear assembly or something else, to hold the water wheel up. Uh, you build those, those just take one mechanism, very easy. Then, next to it, you can build a water wheel. Also, if you want it in uh, another place, like here, you can press S and it will go uh, east-west. And when you have something, you build next to it. With a water wheel, you just need three logs and that's it. Uh, for windmills, it's about the same, but they need something below it. Uh, yeah, you need this channel tile, like make a gear assembly. Uh, below the level, then channel out this this actual little tile here oh, is channeled out as you can see oh, there's open space uh, so the windmill this windmill is built exactly on top of this gear assembly and that's the way it works and uh, now we have a source of power now we need to this get this source of power all the way down to my pumps which have built over here these are some magma pumps um, to do that, you need axles and gear, more gear assemblies. Back to get at the menu. Um, so gear assemblies, they are basically corners. Uh, you can go from any direction. Uh, you can come in from the, the bottom and go into the left, or any direction you want, or go down even level. As you can see this top top level, this level down, and what you see here is. Uh, a vertical axle. Um, uh oh, that's not good. But I'm explaining things. Also, I'm running out of time. Better hurry up. Um, okay, so how to build them? With the machinery options. Jesus. Um, horizontal axle or vertical axles. As you can see, these are the horizontal axles. You can change, you can make them bigger with U or KH. With S, you can change the direction to uh, north, south, or east, west. Um, and then you just have to connect the dots. Like if you want to connect this to the other ones, I press S, make this. It needs a couple of logs, and it will be built. Um, when you're going down levels, you need to channel out tiles because there needs to be a direct connection. As you can see, this is an open space. 
all open spaces down to the level where I need it. So, yeah, when building, uh, going down levels, build open spaces. Here's a vertical axle, which is pretty simple. It just takes one log and it needs to be beneath the other things. As you can see, top level, one level down, 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 all the way to here. Those were all vertical axles. Built the same uh, as the other ones. There's a lot of channels. Uh, here's there's more corners. As you can see, the gear assemblies and these connect the power to the pumps. And I'm out of time. Okay, more on this in the next video.